Good afternoon, happy travelers. Welcome to the mountains of Los Angeles. Today, Kevin and I are actually going on a hike about an hour to an hour and a half north of Los Angeles. It's actually an abandoned mine, which is crazy. I just found out about this on Instagram a few weeks ago, and we decided that we don't do as much hiking as we'd like to, and what the heck, we would come up here, it's a beautiful day. So far, it's been a nice drive. I think we have about a half hour left, so let's go. Well, hello. You ready to get back on the road? Let's go. The hike we're trying to go on today is called the Bighorn Mine Hike. The trailhead is called Vincent Gulch, so if you put that in your GPS, that's where it'll take you. So you generally don't think of mountains when you think of Los Angeles, but there's some pretty good ones outside of LA. Actually, there are at least five ski resorts within a couple hours of Los Angeles, which is kind of surprising. The hike we're going on is right outside of Wrightwood, California, which is right by the Mountain High Ski Resort. The good part is it is a fun, windy road on the way up. Race car driver? A race car driver driving a Nissan Versa. Oh, it's cold here. <laughs> it's a little chillier than it is in Los Angeles, but. I think we'll be okay. Once we get moving, I think it'll be fine. This hike is 3.7 miles round trip, and they say it takes about two hours. There's about 500 feet of elevation gain. Right where the parking lot is, is also where the PCT comes through. Which is the Pacific Crest Trail, for those of you who don't know. We actually came up pretty high. I think we're somewhere between seven and 8,000 feet. We came from sea level, so I feel like we're gonna be huffing and puffing. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> like I said, these, these mountains are pretty decent up here. Yeah. Not, not to be taken lightly, for sure but I need to put some more layers on and then do you want to get hiking? Let's do it. We don't have that many hours of daylight left. Dang daylight savings, whatever. In order to park here, you need to have what's called an adventure pass because this is a national forest. But if you have the national park annual pass like this one, that'll work too. So we're just gonna check this on the dashboard and get on our hike. I panicked and put my big pea coat in my backpack. <laughs> it's cold. Even though this is a relatively short hike, it's good to be prepared. You never know what's going to happen out there, so having a couple extra layers is never a bad thing. You don't have any food, but I have hats and a glove. I'm pretty sure I have a granola bar that's been in my backpack for like three years, so I think we're good to go. One of those Nature Valley ones <laughs> that if you just look at it wrong, it explodes. It, it turns to dust. <laughs> I think we're coming up to our first official trail sign. That way. <laughs> Before setting off on this hike, we did a little bit of research, took some screenshots of just a little bit of the info. There is absolutely no cell service up here. We've also found that there isn't much signage when you get up here, so it's definitely important to plan ahead just to kind of know where we were going. Ooh, it's kind of opening up here. Or watch your step. Up until this point, the trail's been nice and wide and super easy going, but looks like this section up here is getting a little tight. I imagine this was washout or a rock slide at one point, but it gets a little more treacherous. Come to our first sketchy part of the trail. Almost fell. Didn't though. It's not usually how that story goes. <laughs> I'm gonna 
pretend like I'm not breathing as heavily as I am. <laughs> we came from sea level, okay? Check this out. Yeah, I did not know this was right here. How about that? We're not close to the end of this trail or where the main mine is, but there's this big mine hole. Mine hole. I don't think that's the correct term. <laughs> Mine shaft? Yeah. Possibly. Maybe it's a mine shaft. <laughs> I like mine hole better. But, um. Mine hole. <laughs> didn't expect to see this here. There's a little stream that's coming out of it, which is kind of cool. Mines can be super, super dangerous. So please, if you come here or any other abandoned mines, be really, really safe. Don't go where you're not supposed to go. Whoa, that goes super far back. Bunch of old metal. Super cool. I think we're gonna keep going on the trail though because there's supposed to be a lot more further up. Well, even if we just made the hike for that, that was cool. Bet you he's stoked. He loves abandoned stuff I like do. this. <laughs> I have a whole another channel that just explores abandoned stuff, which, which we'll link in the description. I geek out over abandoned stuff. So after an hour of hiking, we have made it to the mine. Yeah, I definitely think this is the main part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super cool. Uh, hike wasn't bad. This looks awesome. So I'm super excited to go check it out. Before we made it over to the main section of the mine here, there's a couple more shafts that are all closed up. It looks like they have caved in. Yeah, it's, it's cool up here for sure. You don't normally see water around here. So this is the Bighorn Mine. Gold was discovered here in 1859, and in the early 1900s, as many as 50 people mined this area. This mine wasn't in operation for very long though. Up until the 1920s, 1930s, they took copper, silver, and gold out of here, and it's been abandoned ever since. You can kind of hike up above the mine. It's all in ruins and it's all kind of sketchy to walk around, but there's an entrance that's right over here. Walk up over some crazy logs here. Wow, look at this. Cool. Wow. It's got these old mine tracks all the way through. Let's go! Wow, that's pretty crazy. I feel like there's gonna be like a ghost train coming at us. We saw a couple guys that were down below that said you could go into this mine. It goes straight back about 500 feet. I don't think we're gonna do that today just for safety's sake. Regardless, it is really, really cool to see. Definitely worth the hike. This looks like some kind of crazy big sorting tank or something right here. A lot still left over, but definitely a lot that's fallen down too. Who knew? Well, this was definitely a cool destination for a hike, but because of that silly little time change, we only have about 35 minutes until the sun goes down and we don't have any headlamps. So we need to be heading back towards the car. It ended up taking us about an hour to hike back to the car. We were both pretty hungry at that point, so we decided to come into the town of Wrightwood, which was just 15 minutes away from the trailhead. We've come to this spot before, it's called the Grizzly Cafe, and it's pretty good food. Getting a little down-home diner action. One of their soups of the day is potato cheese, and it's kind of cold outside, and we just did a hike. 
And that sounds really good to me, so <laughs> I think that's going to be at least one of the things we get. So we just decided to get a burger and share it, and we thought maybe it's just a little appetizer. We would get a small bowl of soup. I underestimated the small part, though. It's the largest bowl of soup I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. And they really believe in go big or go home here because it's a big burger. I'm really glad we're splitting it. Oh boy, that was super good. There's Christmas music. Yeah, this is the first place we've heard Christmas music. It is November 8th. November 10th right and, now. And there's a Christmas tree down the street that's lit up. Yeah. Wow. She... <laughs> I'm into it. She likes Christmas, if you can't tell. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe because we have a bunch of other awesome California adventures coming up. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Aqua Tourists. Peace out. I think we're coming up to our first... Uh, my, our... You ruined it. Like this. Hey, we're going to LA. We're gonna go hiking. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> I think we're getting. We have overcommitted <laughs> to this light. So bright. <laughs> <laughs> Should we end it anyways? Uh, I guess I... it's good light. I mean, Woo! I'm blind, but you know. So I guess that's gonna be it for this video. <laughs> <laughs> We hoped you guys enjoyed seeing some kind of off the path, off the beat. We hoped you enjoyed seeing some kind of offbeat, like off the beaten path. Oh man, I can't f